Hi guys, welcome to Helldivers. Just got out this morning, so I thought I'd do a quick introduction guide just to show you what you're going to be doing for the first 30 to 40 minutes. Um, once you've loaded it up and you started in the game, I'm going to go through a little quick tutorial. Uh, I was in like a lot of games. Just got to get used to what's going on. So I'll be running around this little training area doing a couple of different things. I'm just going to show you how to use ammunition boxes and weapons. It's pretty simple with the um, using the L and the R sticks. You can be using one to aim, using the R2 button to shoot. All depends on how, uh, how glitchy your uh, stick is to whether how accurate you are. That's quite hard to actually get it on target there. Uh, I'll be learning how to use pistols. Now, thing you have to remember in this game is it's friendly fire so this bit here is just showing you that if you shoot your own people you're gonna die so you just need to make sure that you're accurate and you know where your players are which is gonna get quite interesting when you're playing with people online <laughs> everyone going around shooting each other's not gonna be great so you can get on your hands and knees crawl under once you've actually brought your turret down to the surface as you'll see here you call in a, uh, this turret, it comes down, and you want to lie down. If you're in its line of sight, it will shoot you. You can lie down on the surface. Now, this is why it's going to be good to have a mic when you're playing with other people. Because if you were, uh, if you called in a, a turret or anything else, and they're standing in the way, it'll either crush them or it's going to shoot them. So it's going to be good to use a mic in this game if you're playing with the player. So you see here, it's taking you through a little demo. You can learn how to do the objectives. I'll cut out a little bits of it. One thing, you arm a bomb here. It doesn't really give me much time to get away. So you've got to make sure that as soon as you arm bombs, and particularly in the tutorial and when you're playing, is you run as quick as you can. So you, once you've done your objectives, you find out where the shuttle is. You call in the shuttle, hold it off. You get on a shuttle and then you go back to the uh, to orbit. So, like any other game, you get a little promotion, you get all your skill points and things when you start playing. Once you've done this first part of the tutorial, you'll go to the ship, you'll get introduced to your ship, a few little uh, bits and bobs. So whilst you're actually in the ship, your main console area, there are a couple of different places. There are four main areas. One on the left hand side, the armory. Pretty straightforward. Um, scroll up and down to change your armor and stuff. Or use R1 and R L1. So you can go to the different areas to look at the different things. The weapons, same. Scroll up and down. Move across to get your upgrades once you've got the skill points available and simply just click on it spend research point yes so that's just upgraded that and you can see there's weapons to unlock and the stratagems are the ones that you call in come down to the planet like the mini guns and the ammunition drops and things very simple again all you got to do is use those points to up things upgrade things and perks as well different kind of perks you still need the research points so it's all pretty straightforward and simple then on the far right hand side you go across here you got this little encyclopedia area this has got a few different um, bits of information to do with the game and enemies and weapons and all that kind of stuff so for the actual playing online, if you wanted to play alone uh, on the PS4 button, you press your options button and you just go into the privacy settings. Scroll up, you've got public, friends, private. So you could play privately if you wanted. If you want to leave it open, anyone can join you if it's on public. They'll just join your game or just friends. Settings, pretty, pretty basic settings. Controls just shows you what the controls are. You can't change it, which is quite annoying for me because I like to press the square button to reload and I keep going prone. So if you're playing multiplayer, again, you can just go straight into this little uh, menu here. Pick who's doing what. Join their game if it's open. 
or you can use if you're in control galactic campaign you go in here choose the world choose which one a planet on the right there you'll see whether it's easy medium or if it's too hard it's going to be unlocked yet so you could go for an easy one click on that again click mission whichever mission you want to do if you've already completed a mission like that one and you click on that one and then you'll go straight into it and once you've done that then the only other place is the hell pods click on X to jump in the hell pod and that takes you down to the planet surface so select a drop zone where you want to go choose that have a look at weapon you want to choose this is before you go down to the surface and the stratagems, choose a turret or anything else before you confirm it. And then once you click confirm, it's going to start your little countdown and send you down to the planet. Now to begin with, I recommend as soon as you hit the planet's surface, get used to using the map. Click your map, find out where your, uh, your target is. So you go running off, try to find your target. Get used to uh, getting to your objective using the buttons. Click on one. If there's if it says one of one or two of two, you got to make sure you go to activate both sides of it. So again, you click on it. Use your little pad. Do the activation. Complete the objective. If there's only one objective, then you're going to go straight down to your pickup point. If there's more objectives, look at the map, find out where they are, and go running off down to them. What I'm going to do here is try and find my little shuttle out of the place. It's a good idea to call down ammo drops or turrets or anything else whilst you're waiting around. Get used to using those. You can see you click on the pad, use your little arrows, call it in. That's going to be my ammo drop because you do run out of ammo pretty quick. So you've got to try and think ahead of yourself because once you've had a firefight, you can see there on the bottom left hand corner I've got zero. It does go down pretty quick and once you're out of ammo, you're crawling around getting your ass kicked. And I dare say it's one of those games that you have. It's like in Call of Duty and stuff, you've got to get used to reloading whenever you've got a split second. Nothing worse than getting your uh, <laughs> getting in the shit and you've got no ammo in there. And once you've got your objective complete, it comes down, picks you up, takes you back to orbit. So this is where you start picking up your uh, your XP. Now every time you level up, you'll see just below the bar there, you get these, you do get these points, skill points to spend. All right, so that's the end of the first mission. Thanks for tuning in. Um, the next one up will take a mission, go down to the planet and do some multiplayer action so you can see how you join in with people and interact with them whilst you're actually taking on objectives. Okay, so I'll see you soon. Cheers.